Hello friends, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Emily and my channel is completely devoted to everything memory keeping. So be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss my weekly videos. Well, pretty much weekly anyway. Today I'm gonna to be doing my July Project Life. So I do Project Life monthly and I primarily use my Studio Calico monthly documenter kit to tell Project Life stories. But unfortunately, uh, my July kit did not arrive. The USPS has lost it and they're working on finding it. So I'm gonna be using this as an opportunity to kind of use some stuff in my stash and also to um, paint some watercolor journaling cards. All of my photos this month are pretty neutral. There's not anything super bold in any of the photos. Um, so I use that as an opportunity to kind of play with some color. And so the first thing I'm going to be doing is painting some watercolors onto these little three by four journaling cards. This is just um, watercolor paper that I've cut down into three by four. And then my plan is to stamp on top of it and to print my journaling on top of that. I love watercoloring. I think it's so fun and just like therapeutic. So I try to incorporate it as often as possible. So I thought this would be a great opportunity. With Project Life, I'm always trying to think of ways to make the page look cohesive because it is very busy with tons of different photos. Um, and so this was my plan to sort of make the page look visually cohesive. And I am gonna be using some pieces from my stash that are really bright and have a lot of yellows and pinks in them, so that's why I'm using these colors. And then, of course, each of these journaling cards is gonna be a little bit different, but I'm kinda gonna do the same basic printing pattern on all four of them. Whenever I'm watercoloring, I always have two glasses of water nearby. One to clean off my brush, and then the other is full of clean water that I use to dilute the paints. And then the other thing that I do is I try to have at least two shades of the color that I'm using so that I can mix and match and kind of create a little bit more dimension. I also always use the wet on wet method where I paint water onto the paper first and then drop paint into it. The reason I do that is I just like how the paint moves in water when you already have water on the page. It creates more of that sort of swirly effect that I think is really pretty especially with two colors, the way that they merge together. I just love it. Uh, but it does take a while to dry, so this took a solid four hours. I think I had to just leave it and come back to it. Um, but once it dried, I was so happy with how it turned out. And then I'm stamping using two different Allie Edwards sets um, to say love this and trying to stamp it as similarly as I can so that they all look identical. Um, and then leaving white space on the bottom where I'm going to print my journaling cards. So that's what I did next. I just measured how far up the white space went on the page and then printed them in Photoshop. So these are the little embellishments that I'm going to use. They are from a set that's been in my stash for a really long time from a 12 by 12 paper pad, but it had two pages of little tags and little small um, squares, but I used a circle punch to punch out two different sizes, um, both an inch and a half and an inch and three quarters. And I'm obviously not gonna use all of them, but I just went ahead and punched them all out so that I would have lots of options. And then um, that pink page um, that I'm gonna use as my title card in the upper left was a 12 by 12 piece of paper that, you know, honestly, hot pink sometimes can be a little bit aggressive. So it's been in my stash forever. Not sure how I was ever gonna use it or if I was ever gonna use it, uh, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to clear it out. <laughs> So also because I don't have the little transparency that says July because that's in my Studio Calico kit that's on the lamb somewhere, I just went ahead and sta uh, stamped July, cut them out, and it's stamped on vellum. And I just cut it out a little bit outside of the stamping edge to just create um, a little bit more of an outline with the vellum. I liked how that looked and you could kind of see through it, but it was pretty opaque. It was white vellum that I got from my local craft store. And um, I was originally just gonna leave it like that, but I decided to add a hand-drawn border and then stamp the dates of July, which I like the, I like how this looks when people do weekly project life. Obviously when you do it monthly, you don't really need to say July 1 through July 31, 2020. It's kind of obvious, but I just wanted to add it in. It just felt like a little bit empty and I wanted to add in 
just sort of my thoughts about the month in general, in addition to my printed journaling, which kind of relates to each individual story, which this month we're pretty much all about getting moved in and getting settled. Um, we moved into our new home at the end of June, and um, it's just been a process to get settled and get unpacked. And um, what I'm documenting right here is our little moving announcements that we sent out, which is also why I've had like a redaction on this video because I had our address on it. But I wanted to keep the envelope because it was so fun and bright yellow. So I'm adhering it to the outside of the page protector so you can still pull the announcement out, but that way I can keep both. And then the rest of my stories were about just sort of getting settled to some new plants that we put in in the front of the house. Uh, we put grass in in the back of the house and just sort of all the things that we did this month to make this place kind of our own and how we want it. That was pretty much what July was for me. And so that is the pretty much the spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.